where are we as we fit into, let's say, for example, the book of Revelation, the revealing of Jesus Christ and his plan for redeeming the world, well, we would be right in that area of the church age, seeing chapter two and three in the Bible of book of Revelation. And it's prior to the rapture of the church. Well, then after the rapture of the church, and there's no known exact time, but it's probably not very long, then comes the seven year tribulation where the Antichrist, it begins with the Antichrist, making a covenant with the world in the Middle East. And then Israel, of course, will be able to build their uh, temple there in the Mount. Right now they can't do it because there's such a, a faction between them and the Arab nations. Well, that is going to happen, of course, after the rapture in that seven year tribulation where the Antichrist makes a contract. Then we know that the, the tribulation has begun. Seven years will follow that. Daniel chapter 9 verse 27 points that out. That's how come we know there's a seven year tribulation. And so then uh, after that, after that seven year tribulation, which is also called the time of Jacob's trouble, uh, which is really the shakeup of the nations, the waking up of Israel, that's again the time of Jacob's trouble and where Christ is going to be judging Christ rejecting earth. The, the seven year tribulation is a time of God's wrath upon the earth. Again, in the very beginning, in the, there in the sealed judgments, we see that a quarter of the population of the earth is destroyed just in the first uh, laying out of the sealed judgments. Then, of course, comes the uh, trumpet judgments, and after that, the bold judgments. So it's bad getting worse, if you will. <laughs> Uh, seven years of that again the wrath of God and uh, great carnage a lot of people are going to be destroyed a lot of things are going to be damaged also one of the greatest revivals we'll ever see in the history of the world happens in the midst of that tribulation we see that in Revelation chapter 7 where a multitude uh, of saints are gathered now this is not the church church has already been raptured but these are the tribulation saints these are the saints men and women that have come to Christ because of the preaching of the of the two witnesses there in Jerusalem and the, the preaching and, and witnessing of the 144,000 and not to mention the angels flying around the earth with the everlasting gospel. And this of course uh, is a fulfillment of scripture as well. So when uh, Jesus does return to the earth, it'll be after that seven year tribulation uh, the seven year tribulation really runs from chapter six of Revelation all the way to nine, chapter 19. And then Revelation 19, 11, what happens? Well, Jesus returns to the earth physically with all of his saints. All those, the church saints, uh, Old Testament saints, tribulation saints that have been martyred, we're all coming back with Jesus. He comes to the earth, sets his feet on the Mount of Olives, it splits. It's gonna be the judgment of the sheep and the goats. Uh, there we see there, in the uh, both in Revelation or in Matthew chapter 24 and 25, separation of sheep and goats, uh, the, those that uh, are alive in their bodies through the tribulation will be separated, the good from the bad. We see that, and of course, those that have had faith in Christ and made it through the tribulation in their mortal bodies will make it into the uh, millennial kingdom that thousand year reign of Christ that he promised to Israel that Messiah would reign on the throne of David physically. And we see that beginning in, in chapter Revelation 20, Satan's bound for a thousand years. We know it's a literal thousand years. He'll be bound in the, uh, uh, in the bottomless pit for a thousand years chained. And uh, that's when Jesus will sit on the throne of David in Jerusalem and rule. King David uh, will sit on the on the throne as a governor. Jesus will sit on David's throne. And all the saints uh, in glorified resurrected bodies will govern various parts of the earth. Uh, people with mortal bodies and li li live will have families and, and serve the Lord 
without Satan and temptations for a thousand years. Imagine that. Of course, they'll have offspring. Who knows how many in a thousand years will have probably billions on the earth again. And then after that thousand years, interesting, Satan's released again, causes a massive rebellion uh, with the mortals and try to uh, come after and attack Jesus. Of course, they fail. And then comes that great white throne of judgment that we read about uh, there at the end of chapter 20 of Revelation and then 21 new heavens and new earth and the Lord uh, closes the whole thing up in chapter 21 22 and what a wonderful thing we have and you know what how much time do we have here we are in the church age as I mentioned <clears throat> we see it in Revelation 2 and 3 how much time do we have before Jesus returns and I don't think there's a much time uh, we know there's also an Ezekiel 38 and 39 battle that happens around the time of the rapture of the church. And so we see that um, coming together of Russia and, and Persia, or which is Iran and, and Turkey and, and Libya, it, you know, things, uh, Ethiopia as well, coming together that uh, none of those nations have been together in, in, in times past in history, but certainly are today. And of course, as it says in Ezekiel 38, 39, they'll be coming after Israel's spoil. Uh, they'll, they'll attack them simultaneously, this massive army. And of course, of course, the Lord himself will destroy uh, two thirds of the Russian uh, Persian coalition in that day. And it'll be about that time when the rapture of the church takes place. Exciting times we live in. I hope you know Jesus Christ uh, the Bible's very clear uh, of, of what's happened, going to happen, what has happened in the past, the history of the world, and, and so forth, and also what's coming in the future. And uh, we're, we're very excited to see the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. Worship him. Seek him with your whole heart. Turn from your sins. That's repentance. Turn from your way and turn unto the way of the Lord Jesus Christ. You find all about him. Read those Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Get to know him. Ask Jesus to reveal himself to you. Read the Gospels with a sincere heart, and he will show you what you need to know. Receive his forgiveness and be born again. I encourage you to do that today in Jesus' name.